Last time we revived our off-road go-kart Pugly with a seven horsepower Subaru Robin engine that we kind of pieced together using a lawn mowing budget. And when it was time for the first ride, it was geared way, way too tall. Neither of us were really surprised. So this time, we're knocking out two birds with one stone. We're gonna gear it more properly for crawling and off-roading, and we're gonna add a reverse kit parts from gopowersports.com. I've been wanting to install one of these reverse kits on one of our projects for a long time, but we just, there hasn't really been a good suitor. Now is finally the time. So we hope to be changing the gear ratio at the reverse box. What we're gonna do is we're gonna play with the gearing at the box, uh, which means we'll be able to keep the small gear, which means we're gonna have better ground clearance for better off-roading. Off -roading. And we plan on installing the reverse box about right here we plan on moving this engine forward, which should give us room right here for the reverse box. I guess someone put them on pretty tight. Yeah, we weren't messing around here, dude. There we go engine can now move forward. Just over two and a half turns to one right there. That's so in reverse. That's in reverse. So let's check forward. So that's neutral. Sweet. That's one so that's turn. That's one and that's three quarters. So we got a gear reduction in the box already. So well, it's got to go forward. Oh well, yeah, it definitely has to go forward. But you know, we're we're uh, look, it looks pretty promising. Yeah, it does. I think uh, we're gonna be able to make it work. You know, we can probably make it work with the engine where it's at right now. We just have to cut out the center bar. So as you remember in the last video we did with Pugly, the gearing was way, way, way too tall, and we're gonna have some reduction in the reverse unit here, which is nice. But we needed some reduction on top of that because we just need a lot of reduction. So we got a little bit creative with sprockets. We made our own custom sprocket, really, really big sprocket that should reduce it by a lot. And then on top of that, because it's larger than what's designed to go on there, we're going to brace it with a pillow block bearing. When you order your reverse kit, make sure you order a gear that's going to fit your setup. This large kind of rigged one is probably not gonna be for most people. But it will be for us. Yes. So we don't have quite enough room to fit the gearbox in the cradle we have right now, so we're gonna need to do a little bit of chopping. We're gonna need to, <laughs> say a little bit, <laughs> we're gonna need to take this out, we're gonna need to take this out and relocate them, and that's gotta go too. And then we're gonna have to raise the engine up a little bit. If you're installing this kit on a go-kart that doesn't have a cage like this around the engine, you probably won't run into all these things. Let's get to hacking. All right, so are we gonna put the engine up on the... Uh... Well, first, gotta put uh, engine plate under it. All right, dude, I have this engine plate from Go Power Sports. I'm gonna put it underneath this engine. And of course, the plate's upside down. And we're gonna install these uh, spacers that we made up underneath the engine. So we have to take the engine back out in order to drill some holes in our engine plates there. It's a little tricky, but if you hold your tongue right, you can get it out. So, the engine is gonna stay here, but this plate's gonna be adjustable, and it's gonna have the reverse box mounted to it. So, the engine will be adjustable, and the reverse box will be adjustable. And that's how we're going to tension our chain. Yes. On the engine and the here. So we're putting our motor mount bolts in now. Having to go up through the bottom because they're so long. 
So the reverse unit itself is gonna sit right in this space we have cleared out for it here. We're gonna have chain going from the clutch to the first sprocket, and then from the second sprocket down to the axle. So it turns out we're actually gonna have to trim the second engine plate here so the sprockets will line up correctly between the axle and the reverse unit. Looks like plenty of them, dude. Yep, more than I need. So we just need to find a good place to mount something like this so we can have a flat bar. So we got this factory mount. I don't know exactly, uh, I mean, I believe this is a mount for it. If it's not, it's gonna work for us though. So now we just need to come up with two pieces of flat bar or angle iron or something to mount it on the forward ones. So we have the sprockets lined up the best we could get them. It's impossible to tell without putting a chain on and rolling it, but I'm gonna go ahead and weld up our brackets that we made and get this thing solid mounted. Yeah. Yep. Did you weld it to the bottom plate? Did you weld it to the bottom plate? Maybe a little bit. Are you serious? Only a little bit. No way! So you got the bottom chain hooked up. Yes indeed, and it's tight. Good. Now I'm working on the top. And so we have 420 on the bottom and 40 on the top. So our local store doesn't have 420, but they have 40. Yes. Um, and our the bolt that we have in this hub to lock it down is in the way the chain kind of like what we thought would happen So we're just gonna need to grind it once we get it tight. Um, all right chains on dude We just need to adjust the engine forward, yes, but you uh, got to keep the other this. Piece of So we installed a little breather cap that came with the kit. We filled it up with oil and we should be ready for the ride here. So for a test drive. Yeah, just a little test drive because yeah. the sun is almost down. Yeah, so I'm gonna make it where it's in neutral right now. Let's try to make it where it goes forward. That's reverse. That's forward. Oh, it is in reverse. Ooh. That's cool. That's cool. It, we need better throttle return. All right. It was, it was snag. Huh? Did you put it in D? Yeah, put it in D, dude. Yes, sir. And B. There you go. I was starting to have my doubts on the gear ratio, but I think it's perfect. Oh, you think so? Yeah. Still seems kind of tall to me, buddy. Yeah, uh, well, I, whenever I was coming over here, I was getting into up the there power in RPMs, band. Yeah, and the speed just felt kind of right with the RPMs. Okay. Yes, it feels in the beginning it feels a little sluggish yeah. coming off the line. Yeah. But if we made it any lower, 
I do believe that we would fall behind of the rest of the people at Busco Beach. Okay. At the next meet. But yeah. and then well we need to fix our kill switch. Uh, but other than that, dude, it's pretty solid. Don't forget that the kit came with hardware, cables, and a shifter. We just haven't had time to install it yet. It's probably gonna, something we're going to do next time because the sun is down. So I reckon that's it for this video, guys. Next time you'll see us install the shifter and uh, whatever else we need. Cables. Throttle cables, reinforcing. But we got to ride it today, uh, and it turned out pretty good. Not bad. No, uh, reverse is actually really peppy. Yeah, it's because it's gear. It's, it's even more down even more. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I guess they figure if you get stuck going forward, you really need a little umph getting out. Yeah. 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 So next time we're gonna reinforce it, like we said, cable shifter. We may switch over some tires to some more aggressive ones, but uh, our our Subaru version of Pugly is turning out pretty good here. Getting ready for the next Mini Mayhem event, which should be spring 2019. Anyway, of course, you can find links to the reverse kit in the description of this video, along with the other parts we have used from GoPowerSports.com. Use our discount code CC10 for 10% off most parts on their website. Support us in what we do by picking up some of our stickers, t-shirts, hats, hoodies at Cars-Cameras.com. Leave a like, subscribe to the channel for more awesome content, and we will see you next time.